maybe I'm the one who is the schizophrenic psycho, yeah. Hey everyone, and this tutorial is kind of something that I haven't really been um, experienced with, but I have done it a couple times. It's um, logo making, which is so much fun, especially if you really get into it. Um, as you notice, there's no picture because obviously I'm not going to make the logo on the picture unless you want the logo on the picture. I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to get started. I'm going to go up to File, New. And I'm just going to name it Logo. You can keep it as Untitled 1 if you want. I'm going to keep my... Uh, I think these are uh, defaulted to be set to 500 each. But I'm going to set... Um, I set my width to 500, my height to 200. Just that's going to give it like a billboard look. And always make sure that your color mode is RGB color. And um, basically that's where the logo is going to go. If you need a really big logo for something, that's fine. You know, you can always change up the height and the width. Um, so I'm just going to choose a background layer color. I'm sorry. I can't find my words today um, for this. So by clicking on my brush tool and um, setting the hardness to 100% and diameter to about the size of the billboard just so you don't have to go over 100 times and make sure that you got everything. Uh, whatever. So double click on your color square and choose a color that you want. I'm going to go for like a bright pink. I'm just feeling pink today. Uh, um, all right. So once you have your color, just click OK and shade in the entire um, background. <laughs> and for logo making, every time you um, start something new, like whether it be like one letter of like your text or whatever, I definitely suggest you add a new layer because logo making you're definitely going to have like 200 layers. Well, not that much, but you know what I'm saying. So the next tool I'm going to use is a text tool which I've never used in any of my tutorials before, which is so I'm so excited I get to use it finally. Text tool. Uh, just click on the T and um, just click anywhere. It's going to bring up a box. Sometimes it doesn't, but um, usually it does. Um, this is hard to work with. I don't really like making Legos, so, because it, see what it does? I don't know if it just doesn't like me, or whatever. I don't, I don't really enjoy it. At least I got a small one going. <laughs> so, um, you can mess around with these fonts. There's tons of different fonts. There's even, like, Chinese and Arabic and stuff. Um, but I like Ravy font. I don't know. It's cool. Um, to change around with the mess around with the uh, size and like um, I don't really know what this is called but I guess like the style. I just like mine smooth. I don't know. It's completely up to you. And then this color square is the text color uh, blending mode. You don't want to use the other one, this one, because that's going to change your background. Or your brush, I should say. So I'm just going to choose a blue that I think is going to go good with it. And then you can just start typing. I'm going to use my um, YouTube uh, thing. I don't really know what to call it. Like I said, I don't like making logos, so you can see why. It's very frustrating and very time consuming. It takes a lot of effort. <laughs> I like to edit pictures, so I'm just going to center it. And a cool thing I can do with this is I'm going to duplicate the layer by right clicking on the layer and clicking duplicate layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit, transform, rotate 180 degrees. And then I'm going to go to edit, transform again, but flip horizontal. And it's going to kind of give me like this mirror image. It's just really awesome and really cool. I like the mirror image. Um, and then you can change the opacity to make it look... Uh, like faded. 
pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> um, so the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to add a new layer because I, like I said, logos definitely going to want to go crazy with the layers. Um, is this brush tool. There are some presets in it. So if you right click anywhere in your logo space um, and you scroll all the way down, there are like these cool presets that you can use. And I really like 112. That's like my favorite. So um, you can just double click over here and choose the color that you want. Um, what color do I want? Hmm. Let's go for some green. I, I like to mess around with colors. So, And then you can change the size, obviously, by using the bracket keys. It's just like the brush tool, just um, a different shape. So the bracket keys work. And I uh, just click and drag. And it kind of gives you like these cool little things. So they're, f they're fun to work with. And um, I think I actually got some over there. I'm just going to erase that. Sorry. And um, I'm just going to add another layer. And I'm going to do the same exact thing but on the right lower side. But hang on. I don't like that. I'm going to delete that. Just What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my, tr to my edit and do the transform again. Um, so I'm just going to click rotate and just rotate it so it's kind of upside down. Like I also could have, sorry, I didn't click enter. I also could have um, duplicated this layer and moved it, but I didn't for some reason. I don't know. I'm just not in the mood today. I don't know. So you can mess around with this, um, these shape tools. You know, you can choose some custom shapes um, that are up here. Oh, if you if yours doesn't look like mine, you have to click on this arrow and click all. It's gonna ask you replace current shapes from all. I'll just click OK, and it's gonna give you everything. And you can use like these things are pretty cool. Um, hearts, stars, obviously are pretty awesome. Um, if you're into recycling, you know, go ahead. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's basically how you make logos, and it's you can mess around. You can um, uh, mess around with the gradient overlay. I'm just gonna show you um, on this bottom text. I'm gonna right click on the layer and click uh, blending options. I'm gonna go on to uh, gradient overlay. Make sure it's highlighted and checked, and uh, uh, you can double click on this and it's going to bring you up some presets and um, you know there's some rainbow some other things and you can also blend I like to blend a lot uh, pretty cool so I'll just bring this up and maybe take it to a blue and uh, kind of awesome it's got like going really dark blue to like faded it's pretty awesome I enjoy the gradient overlay a lot. So I haven't really timed this, but I'm sure it's pretty long, so sorry if I'm boring you. Um, but comment, message, any requests, uh, concerns. Uh, if you just want to talk to me, sure, I'm up to it. Let's chat. Um, rate, subscribe, um, do whatever. It's up to you. And, um, yeah, hope this helped. Maybe I'm the one, maybe I'm the one who is the schizophrenic psycho, yeah.